All right, guys, today we're taking a look at the console and uh, we're going to see how this game is. Now, I usually don't cover games like this, but this one just looks so awesome. I felt like I had to. Also, I was awesome and uh, <laughs> it was awesome enough that I got a key for it as well through terminals. So wanted to make sure I covered that as well. Stop. You're not getting anywhere with this von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. <laughs> well, That's burn. what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. Ooh, the Golden <laughs> Order. Order, By eh? the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch that a sounds like that might take a while. Skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. That's a bit weird. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Just me or that jar Where opening kind of sound like a squeaky toy. Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Hmm. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Ooh, I'm the face. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational and open. I got it. I've opened the shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Oh. Von Borchardt. Von Borchardt. Hmm? Listen, let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Please, be my guest, Mother. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, he's got a knife. Uh. Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, Mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother. She's like 80. You're no spring chicken anymore. Yeah, seriously. Come on. <laughs> like, let's what? go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchardt. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just kick him, like, leave the knife with him. That's fine. Is it just me? Look, his eyes are still open. That was weird. You never leave the bad guy on the floor and with a weapon and then just assume that everything's fine. Whoa, a whole month later? All right. That's not an ominous looking house. Castle. Big Bad Wolf Studio. That's 
pretty awesome name, honestly. Ooh. Oh, it's got like some fancy, creepy. You gotta well, take a boat it. and then walk up you through the catacombs had to pick up thing. You just trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer. And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island, which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. Does kind of look like just a big creepy rock. I'm gonna go with him on that one. Doesn't look like a whole lot of paradise. Uh, if you love isolation, it's probably paradise. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Ooh. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost no, mystical know. object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you good, sir. What brings you here? Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. <laughs> Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, oh, consider burn. yourself fortunate, young man. Because there are many who dream of He's definitely the murderer. I'm calling it now already. Island. This guy. Right only a very no one expects the, the, the religious Indeed. dude. I imagine this Never must mind, be I guess your they do. first time here. Oh no. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This well, is that's not the first to time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again. I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Mm, Please that's excuse ominous. me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Embarrassment? Come, that's supposed to mean. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. You are. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. <laughs> are you right? Oh. I don't know. I don't trust her now. We poisoned already. They poisoned us. We die. We dead. We're gonna die. <laughs> Oh. Mother? Oh shit, your hand. Oh. So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. But I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry. She is no messed up. Find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to no, do. No, mother, don't, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There's no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, sir. Don't. No. No! Oh. You can run if you want to, Sarah, but you will pay. Whoa, we are bleeding. You. Uh, Louis, are you alright? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. 
Keep it. Are you better? Are you better? I've yeah, yeah, he's a nosebleed and like crazy vision. It's totally fine. Oh, by the way, just saw it's your dad. Why don't, why don't you just go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you mm -hmm. sure? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sure. Yes. Fine. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for um, God's sake? Controls? I absolutely need to find you, Mother. That was weird. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Ah, oh, diplomat, shine society, talented speaker, avoids fox passing, convince those he's talking to without offending them. Cultist, the cult is a master of deception, convinced importance of knowledge, he's acquired extensive expertise in sciences and the arts, or the detective. Hmm, I'm gonna go with the cultist. Uh... Oh. Uh, huh. Okay. Ah, hold space. Got it. Reading. I have been involved in all sorts of unsolved cases. Have you ever heard of the Abbey of Hexham? Uh, vaguely. An ingenious scam involving mass manipulation on a scale never seen before. Hmm. There was a cavern under the abbey, wasn't there? Exactly. The wind would blow in through spouts, creating a, a terrifying howling sound. So, to stop the howling, the priests called for offerings from the peasants. And if they brought enough money, I'm guessing the priests stopped the howling. A perfect trick to fool simple souls. Wow. Admit it, Duchess. That story kept you in suspense, didn't it? Yes, it did. I'm delighted to find out that you were the young and brilliant French investigator. For someone who only remembers the case vaguely, your memories are very clear. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Of two people? Fine, what? Emily. What? Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. <laughs> Please stop torturing me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London. I feel like no. their heads move Sorry. around too much. I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? I am so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. Hmm. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. Oh, interesting. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Very interesting. Oh, wow. Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moraz de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. 
I have an appointment with Lord Mortimer. Would you be so kind as to lead me to him? Unfortunately, sir, I cannot. I don't know exactly where my master is. But rest assured, sir, everyone is waiting for you at the manor. Sir Holm insists on welcoming you in person. Since your mother went missing, everyone has been concerned about finding her. Hmm. Who is Sir Holm? A close friend of Lord Mortimer's. Please, rest assured, sir, it won't take us long to find your revered mother. Indeed, we are searching the caves again because lights were seen at the wharf just last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps Sir's mother was here. Oh, questioning Did what? anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep, and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. That he sounds seemed convenient. seemed to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Mm. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Pass me the handkerchief. But, but sir, my orders were to give it to my... Hmm. Master. Are you refusing to give me my own mother's personal belongings? Even though she was greatly looking forward to meeting your master, she's gone missing. And you seem incapable of finding her. Oh, but sir, please. And to top it all off, you refuse to give me the handkerchief that she so often let me use? Do I deserve such little consideration in your eyes? Is that what you wish me to report to your master? No, certainly not, sir. Please forgive me, sir. I have been such an idiot. Here you are. Hmm. It just takes off. All right. It is indeed your handkerchief, Mother. He must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. This might just come in handy. We're just gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna hide that in our pants. No big deal. what's hidden inside let's look hmm a letter written in an oriental language I have the slightest idea what it says bomber it's too badly written I, I can't make out the address Address is 50 Bedford Square, London.
They dress these in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me, it's about time the order sent some envoys there. Hmm. Probably a Dutchman. Samuel Ritter Dochoa. <laughs> Mother, you test me even when you're not here. It's an anagram of Louis Moras de Richet. You wanted to write to me then. Let's see what's inside this letter. Well, so, you found it. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richet. What is your game here, Mother? What are these strange turns of phrase? I never heard you speak like that. What's going on here? That you write to me under a pen name, okay. But here you go even further by trying to avoid raising any suspicions should anyone else read it. I wonder if this Godoy is the person you came looking for. Think. Godoy, Godoy. 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 Why does that name sound so familiar? Just keep saying Godoy. Ah. I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. But just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Well, alright guys, that's our look at the game so far. We've seen the basic mechanics and everything. Definitely seems like something that's very interesting. If you guys want to see more and I get enough Whoa. of you saying so, Apparently we no may go ahead and time. do a series on it. So let me know how you guys feel about that down in the comments section below. Be sure to check out the game, and we'll see you next time for some more First Look Fridays.